Blog Talk Radio. Are you ready to take a bite out of the competition? Are you looking for ideas to make your business better? Welcome to the Core Business Show with Tim GK, sponsored by Apple Capital Group. At the core of every successful business, you'll find people making a difference. And with each episode of the Core Business Show, we talk with those people, examine those ideas, and explore the strategies that make them special. Now, the host of the Core Business Show, Tim Jacquet. Good morning and welcome to another episode of the Core Business Show. I'm Tim Jacquet, your host. Today, we want to talk about, and this topic, is the importance of updating and maintaining your web Site. So we're going to take a break for a second for a word from our sponsor. We'll be back with the show. You're listening to the Core Business Show. Thank you for listening. Be back in a moment. Thank you for listening to the Core Business Show with Tim Jacquet. You're listening to the Core Business Show, sponsored by Apple Capital Group. Apple Capital Group in Jacksonville, Florida, is a commercial lender that specializes in asset-based loans, equipment leasing and financing, invoice financing, commercial real estate loans, and asset-based financing in the U.S. and Canada. Apple Capital Group is a direct lender that lends on their private equity investment portfolio. Ninety percent of most loans are decided within two hours, and vendor funding within 24 hours after documents are completed with a one-page application. No slow no's, just a quick decision and a fast yes. To get more information about lending from Apple Capital Group, call 866-611-7457. That's 866-611-7457 to speak with one of our loan specialists. Or visit us right now at applecapitalgroup.com. Welcome back to The Core. Once again, here's Tim Jacquet. Well, welcome back. Let's talk about your website. Your website is your most important advertising product you have. It is your advertising. In today's environment and, and this year, this new millennium, so I can talk this morning, it is important that you have a website. I can't stress that enough. There's a lot of opportunities that you can get really inexpensive websites from WordPress just to get started. Secure your domain in your city. Also, you want to secure your Google Place. Google Place is registering your business and listing in within the search engines. You want to make sure that your website is listed in Google Bing, also with Yahoo. So kind of get your place, your Google Places, which identify where you're located into the directory for one. And also make sure you have just a simple five-page website to get started. Now, for those who have stagnant websites, you have to update the content. You must have a blog. Something to talk about, I mean, you got to have something to talk about. If you're an expert in a particular field, you need to share that with your community. That is your advertising. So 90% of the consumers, well, everybody goes online today. I mean, it's, the research is there. It's just imaginable if you're in business today or web presence whatsoever. You can put yourself on Yelps. You can put yourself on Foursquare. Make sure you have a Twitter account. Make sure you have a Facebook account. Secure those little addresses at the very beginning. And as your business grows, grows with it. But the web engine loves fresh content. That's how you're going to get people organically to your site. So fresh content is blogging. There's nothing more you can do. You can do social media and blog your content out there, but you got to talk about something. It needs to be at least 300 words or more. If you can get to five or 600, it's better to get to. The longer the content, the better it is. If you're a plumber, if you want to talk about how to install something, also get your YouTube account as well. So, hey, I'm a plumber. I'm going to show you how to do a simple repair. Give it, just give it away. It doesn't really make that much of a difference because if it's something advanced, some people don't want to do it. Some people don't like unclogging sinks. Show it online to get to your exposure. Say, hey, you can't do it. Just give me a call. If you're in the local Dallas-Fort Worth area or something like that. But put that content, how to install something, how to repair something. Write a content that's at least 500 words. Also, just put it out there. The search engines will pick it up. Put it also with a video on how to do something. But just put it out there, and that would draw content to you. Say, how often shall I do this? At least twice a month to do something like that. If you can do one article a week or one video posting a week, it will go a long way. Don't have to be A to 
B, you can just start on, hey, this is how to do something real quick. Boom, it's over. You can do it on your iPhone or just do it on your camcorder or just videotape it on your computer or something like that. Say, this is how to do something. And they go a long way. Social media helps link the information out to make sure that its attention is grabbed to it. But the goal is to at least do something twice a month. But it's better if you do it once a week. If you can do something every day or chat about something every day, it's great. But some people are too busy. So just focus on, you know, just do this twice a month. If you make it weekly, like on a Saturday morning or a Sunday morning, for just pull 30 minutes out to write something or to have somebody to write something for you, there are sites like uh, Writer's Access who can write articles for you, any topic you choose, and just give them the synopsis where it is, and they'll write it for you, and they'll send it back to you and post it to your website. But if you're in business today, you need to have a website. You need to tan your Google Place. You also need to be on Yelps. You need to be on Foursquare. And there may be some people that sit down foreign, but Bottom line, that's extra, but the bottom line, you need to have a web presence. You need to also update the content on a regular basis. So if you want to read more about this, you can go to blog.applecapital.com. We'll have an article out sometime within the next a couple of hours. So while regular blogging is also a good way to keep your web site high on the search engines, most small business owners may have a difficult time sustaining it. If, you know, past the time, if you write, Writing is your strength, record a short video, and say, hey, I recommend this. If you can't do one thing, do another or have someone to write it for you. You need at least 500 words. Update at least that weekly to keep you still fresh. If you can do something, all your thoughts and energy together and tell stories, just get it done. But that's going to benefit you the long way. But thank you for listening. I'm Tim Trickay, your host. You listen to The Core Business Show. Have a great week and have a great holiday. Take care. Thank you for listening to The Core Business Show with Tim Jacquet. For more information about equipment financing and asset-based loans, visit our website, applecapitalgroup.com. That's applecapitalgroup.com. Or call us at 866-611-7457. We hope you'll join us for our next episode. And remember, you can always get to The Core via iTunes. You'll find all our previous episodes there. And thanks again for listening to The Core Business Show with Tim Jacquet.